بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم دس از اور سکس لیب ڈیٹ از ریلیٹڈ ٹو چیپٹر سکس ڈیٹا انپٹ دس لیب از ویری امپورٹنٹ بیکاز ان جی آئی ایس وی موسٹلی ڈیل ود دی شیپ فائلس اور دی راسٹر ڈیٹا سیٹ اینڈ ڈیٹ ڈیٹا سیٹ از ایکچولی کریٹڈ سم ویئر سو دس لیب از پرٹیکولرلی ویری امپورٹنٹ فار جی آئی ایس اینالسٹ اور جی آئی ایس پروفیشنلس سو ویل فالو اور ٹائم لائن ایز ڈاؤن لوڈنگ ڈیٹا فرام انٹرنیٹ Uh, then something about digitization, what digitization is and how it is performed in ArcMap and adding some XY data that is text file data or uh, Excel data in ArcMap environment and then using some online data sets in uh, ArcGIS environment and then finally we will be concluding our lab. If you see the exercise of the chapter 6 Uh, it is basically divided into these tasks. The first task is download and process DEM and DLG from internet. Now, uh, the first thing, basic thing is you need uh, to go to some website and search from search for some data set that is uh, raster data or a vector data set and uh, you download that data set. For example, here in this example, I will show you how to download DEM that is digital elevation model from a site that is named as Earth Explorer. The first thing you have to do is to log in to Earth Explorer. If you have uh, do not have an account, you need to first register yourself and then you need to log in. Here you will see that you will have a, an interface like this and in the address place, just type, for example, I want them for Islamabad. You just have to type Islamabad and you have to click show. Now this map will browse to your selected site Islamabad. The next thing you have to do is to specify the date. For example, I want my data set from the year 2000, 31st May 2000 till to date. You can uh, specify other dates and you can specify the months as well. After uh, you have selected this, you have other option as well if you want a shape file. So digitize some shape file of Islamabad and upload that over here. Uh, at this level, uh, you are not familiar with how to create a shape file. So just search the place and uh, specify the date and then you have to go to the second option that is data set. In data set option, you can see that you have a lot of options here. For example, a user, he wants to uh, download or use the DEM. So he, have, he will go in this digital elevation section and here you have SRTM section. So just uh, select global non-wide field or wide field. Similarly, if you want to download some satellite images, you just have to go to Landsat section and here you have to specify the Landsat sensor and then the other options, right? So for the time being, we are not downloading the Landsat satellite, we are downloading the DEM. Here I have SRTM Arc 1 second global, right? So you have to go to result section. One thing to note that uh, in other courses, when you will download Landsat images, then you have to specify the cloud cover that should be less than 10%. But for the case of DEM, you do not have to specify or say work about the cloud cover. So It does not give me any result here. Void field, non-void field. Let's see the date again. Let's change it to May 1990 till to date and go to results. Okay, here I have something. Void field in our global, uh, arc, arc second global. I have some dam related to this site. Just Okay, this is the first icon, show footprint. If you will select this, it will show you how much area it covers, right? If you select this file, it will show you the overlay of that dam actually, how it looks like. If you click on this file, it will show you how this dam actually looks like and uh, what is its extent, what are its latitude, longitude, what is its resolution, etc. All you have to do is to just click this download option and the dam will be downloaded for example this one is 24.8 mb just click download and this process will be executed in 20-25 minutes depending upon
once we have our data uh, downloaded our next task is to add that dem in arc map environment for that purpose we just have to click on add data and in add data we just have to uh, go to our download section by connecting to the folder and here you can see i have a dem file which i uh, downloaded from earth explorer <coughs> So you just have to add it and zoom that layer. Uh, it may be a coordinate issue due to this data frame. Let's open it in the new arc map environment. Here I have this dam added. <clears throat> okay, you can see that this is a raster right so this raster is actually you can change the color ramp of this raster and you can notice that these are the areas of higher elevation and these are the areas of lower elevation so this is actually how to download the data and how to add that data in arc map environment now our next task is to uh, create some shape file i am uh, removing this you can explore other options by going to the properties and symbology and there you can classify your dem into some labels of your choice and you can perform other operations right so i am removing this dem now the next task is to create some sh shape file for that purpose uh, you just have to go to the uh, google maps once your google map has been opened up click on the satellite view to view any area what you have to do is to use the sniping tool to take the picture of this area and add that area in your arc map environment as a picture for example i have this picture saved on my on my desktop so i will click capture dot png and click add and click ok so here my image has been added now if i want to digitize uh, some buildings here what i have to do is to se select this catalog tree over here and uh, for example this is my i want to create some sh shape file in desktop so I just have to click this folder, point to new and click on the shape file. On uh, In the shape file I have to click buildings. Now if I want to digitize polygons for buildings, I will select them and specify the coordinate system. Right For the time being I am ignoring this because I am interested in creating the shape file. I have to click OK. OK. Once our shape file has been created we have to select editor and start editing and here i have now in create features buildings are shown and polygon is shown if this window is not available or not displayed so you can just click uh, or uh, open this up from editor create features and buildings and polygons now here i can now digitize some polygon for example i want this polygon to be marked as one Second, I want this building to be my second polygon and then I want this house to be my third polygon. Right. So this is the way you have digitized some buildings. Now once you are uh, completed with digitization, you just have to save your edits. And there are other options you need to explore. For example, there is edit vertices option. If you want to uh, edit some vertices of this building, you can just drag it to uh, new shape similarly we have reshape feature tool if you select some feature and click on reshape feature tool so this tool will allow you to basically reshape your feature similarly you have a cut polygon tool for example i want this building to be divided into two so i just have to draw a line and uh, okay here it is i just have to select some polygon use cut polygon and now this polygon is divided into two pieces separate so after performing all these operations you just have to click save edits this is one this is the second polygon if you go to the attribute table of this buildings file you can see that here you have four polygons created you just have to uh, stop your editing now and from this menu you have to add field for example i want to name these buildings so I just have uh, typed name and type text and click OK and here I can now after adding the field I have to start it 
so I have to start editing again and type the name for example this is my building A the next one is my building B this is C this is uh, D so I have now uh, created the name field and populated them with A B C D hypothetical save edits and close it and stop editing now I want to label my uh, this field so I just have to right click and label this so you can see that 000 appears so go to the properties go to the label section and here you just have to select name and apply so a b c and d they are now uh, polygons they are labeled the important thing is now i will remove my capture.png but my buildings file shape file which i have created is with me so in this manner you can actually create some uh, shape file and actually label them and that shape file will be your GIS data set. The shape file you already use uh, from various internet sources is actually created uh, by using a satellite image as a base and then overlaying uh, and digitizing some polygons. So this is our second task that is about digitization and uh, you can digitize any feature right and the next task is actually to add an XY data in ArcMap that is very important uh, let's go back to ArcMap environment and remove this buildings file and click on add data and uh, here I have to browse to my folder where chapter 6 okay here I have some file events.txt so I just added even dot text as a uh, add data but if you go to layers and click on add data your text file will be added the second option that is more professional is to uh, go to file add data and add xy data here uh, in xy data you have events dot text file you can browse select even dot text and here you have to uh, select in X field and Y field in X field you have to uh, actually specify your easting and in Y field you have to specify your northing and you have to specify the coordinate system by clicking on edit and click OK so this uh, layer is actually added here now if you want to convert this text file to a shape file you just have to go to data and select export data and uh, save it to some folder and click OK so if you remove this text file now you will have a shape file with the name export underscore output similarly if you have some other data set you have just have to go to add data add xy data for example I have this one here quack dot text so longitude and latitude and click OK Okay, it gave me some error x field here longitude and z field is ok so quack dot text is now displayed over here let's zoom to this layer and see that this file is available here now you just have to go to data export data and this will be your shape file will be exported so text file will be removed now now this uh, quack dot text file it can be labeled it can be symbolized and uh, many things they can be for example here I have magnitude of the quacks ML MD MW some categories so just click apply and ok so your shape file will now be symbolized so uh, this is about the adding the data our next task fourth task is to add WMS layer in our catalog uh, using online data actually so uh, for that purpose you just have to go to the search window of ArcMap and uh, from drop down you have to select ArcGIS Online and from ArcGIS Online you just have to select some data set for example I have this uh, rivers data set world major rivers you just have to right click and add this to map so this rivers file uh, is which is available online will be added to your uh, ArcMap environment right so you can just zoom and see this 
सो दिस इज़ अ वे टू एड ऑनलाइन डेटा सोर्सेज दिस इज़ ऑल फॉर टूडेज लैब थैंक यू